Welcome to Dodgers Daily. I'm Casey Porter. I'm so glad that you've decided to tune in. We have a great show for you today. Today is all about Gavin Lux. You know, a Dansby Swanson going off the board. He was the last big free agent shortstop, so it does look like Gavin Lux will be the starting shortstop for the Dodgers in 2023 if they don't decide to stay in-house and go with Jacob Amaya. So the question is, can Gavin Lux play shortstop well enough for the Dodgers to win a World Series in 2023? Okay, before we dive into that too much, just a reminder, if you like this video and if you like this kind of content, go ahead and click that like button, leave a comment, and tell all your friends about Dodgers Daily so Dodgers Daily can keep growing and we can keep providing you content like this in the future. Okay, the big question, can Gavin Lux play shortstop for the Dodgers well enough to allow the club to win another World Series, which is everybody's goal. It is World Series a bust every year for the Dodgers. And so that's what this video is dedicated to at least researching and investigating and allowing you. You're going to see video of Gavin Lux and every play that he made in the first month that he came up to AAA Oklahoma City in 2019. I want to be very clear, this is not a highlight reel. This is video of every play that he had to make in his first month in AAA Oklahoma City in 2019. It took him 15 games to make an error. I do believe he only made one error in the entire first month that he played with Oklahoma City in 2019. He had a 977 fielding percentage with Oklahoma City that year, which if you equated that to the major leagues this year, it would have been tied for the fifth best fielding percentage in all of Major League Baseball. So he came out as a elite shortstop prospect out of 2019. And you know what? If Corey Seager would have moved on after that 2019 season, Dodgers fans, he would have been the shortstop in 2020. And I'm just telling you, everybody at that point would have been very excited about the future of Gavin Lux and Gavin Lux being the future at shortstop for the Dodgers. So, hey, let's dive into it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it, and let's watch all the video of Gavin Lux in his first month in AAA Oklahoma City in 2019. Here we go. Here's That's Dustin May on the mound, actually. Here comes Gavin Lux on several routine plays in a row. You can see him come in. Chase, go ahead and give me your thoughts as you watch this roll through, and we're going to roll through it several different times. Yeah, I mean, watching, um, you know, even in those first couple plays, you know, watching his arm, he has a good, strong arm, man. And, uh, Which is counter to what Dodgers fans think. You know, it's it's kind of the footwork and the arm angles that make his arm stronger from short. Would you agree with that? I, w I would, definitely. And, and you know, the, the next thing that I was going to mention is his footwork. Um, his approach to the ball is, is, is high level. Um, you know, and, and just the way that he – Look at that play. Yeah, goes see that's what I'm talking about. Goes about fielding it. Um, you know, there's a there's a little bit of a sense of swagger there. Um, and there I, is. I think, I think that's that, what I've been trying to tell everybody. He's a much more confident player at shortstop. I'm glad that you saw that. Yeah, I, I think that you know, especially playing shortstop. Oh, there's the one Dodgers fans are worried about. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, having that having that little bit of swagger at shortstop is definitely not a uh, not a negative thing at all. Um, you kind of want one of those guys to, you know, especially your shortstop, to be confident, to be, to be kind of that guy that that's not only a leader in the clubhouse but a leader on the field. Um, and I think that, um, you know, watch just just watching him and watching him play, there's there's no there's no lack of confidence there. Um, so I, I'm I'm excited about it. I really am. If if. Uh, <clears throat> If Dansby doesn't end up in a Dodgers uniform, I'm okay with him. <laughs> okay, so you've seen Gavin Lux play second base quite a bit. Okay, so take us through. There's an He actually was not on the bag there. There was a replay of and he was off the bag by about about seven or eight inches. It got called. That was before they had replay. That here's a turn from second base. Is that quick enough for you? It's quick enough for me. If it's quick enough to get the out, it's quick enough. Yeah, no doubt. And here's another play where he circles the ball. This is the one everybody wants to see right there. To your right, circle the ball. Throw on the run. Footwork is perfect. That's actually Mitchell White on the mound. Here's one to home plate. That's the one he struggles with, that one that's right. See? Okay, now that's what I wanted to mention. See, that throw to me didn't look very confident from home plate, if that makes sense. Let me go ahead and rewind that just a touch. Okay, let's watch this throw to home plate. See if you agree with me. This looks like the least confident throw 
of the entire video to this point. Watch this. Not confident. He bobbles it. He double clutches it. It's in the dirt. And the reason is, Chase, it's a different arm angle. Mm -hmm. It's a different arm slot. He's not able to use the footwork, and there he bobbles one. There's another one. That's his one error that he had the entire first month in AAA. It took him 15 games to make that error. Now, look at the difference between him throwing it home and then having the footwork and moving everything towards first base. Would you see a difference there? There's definitely a difference. You know, and one thing that I do want to – do want to kind of bring attention to is you know what what was that situation when you have you know you have all your infielders in you have uh you you obviously are trying to get this this leading uh leading runner out good throw um, you know it, it was probably a high pressure situation so i don't necessarily know if it was if it was the throw they got him or just kind of the moment you know it, yeah there there's a lot of pressure you know especially especially on the infielders um when when you know when a pitcher makes a good pitch and you have a chance to get that that uh, that leading runner out at home to you know either probably, I mean probably save the game for you yeah um, so that I mean that was a high pressure situation that I that doesn't really bring a whole lot of concern to me outside of you know like I said that experience. So, you know, I know you'd seen Lux quite a bit before, but just for Dodgers fans who haven't, okay, and who have only seen him play second base, give me the differences you see between Gavin Lux, the second baseman, Gavin Lux, the shortstop. I think that right now, I mean, if you were to take him right now without giving him any extra reps at shortstop, I think he would be a little bit more confident at second base and simply because he doesn't seem as rushed to me. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, and, and I think that good reasoning behind that, you know, second base and shortstop, yeah, they're two middle and field positions, but they're very, very different. Um, if you consider the throw and the way that you're moving and, you know, how much time you have, um, uh, you have a lot more time at second base than you do at short. Um, Which, is that a good thing for Gavin Lux? Um, Does that make him think too much? You know, I think I think he's best when he just plays, man. So yeah, I think right. That, this play right here. Yes. I mean, if you look at that, there's not a whole lot of thought going into that outside of I'm going to make a play right here. Um, you know, and, that, and that's the mindset that you have to have as a shortstop. So, I mean, I, like I said, I, I, if you watch that play right there that we just saw again when he's thrown home, you know, consider that situation and, and, and don't don't necessarily, you know, make a judgment off of that. And again, this is not a highlight reel, folks. This is every play that he made his first month in AAA. I wanted to make sure that people knew I was not just putting a highlight out there, a reel out there, so they could, you know, maybe the, you know, only the good plays that Gavin Lux made. Look at that footwork. I love that stutter step, that confident where he's able to judge his hops. I think that's that, you know, whenever you're able to stutter step like that, and, and feel the ball and come through it, that's a sign to me of being comfortable and confident. Would you agree with that? I would, definitely. Yeah, so, okay, Jackson Holiday, he was the first pick in this last draft. He was a shortstop, correct, in high school? He was. Okay, so you've seen what the highest level is. <laughs> so take us through the mechanics, the footwork, the arm slots, the – all of that at Gavin Lux. You've seen it with Jackson Hawley, the first pick of this last 2022 draft. Kind of compare the two and, and tell me, you know, what would make Gavin Lux successful from what you've seen, at least what made Jackson Holiday so successful? Um, you know, one thing that I see that's very similar is their approach to the baseball. Yep. Um, and you know, that, that stutter step and, and, and kind of the way that they approach it um, is, is pretty similar. Um, one thing that made Jackson as good as he is, you know, is his – is his confidence, is his swagger. He knows mm -hmm. that he knows that you know he's the best player on the field anytime that he steps on it. And you know, at some point that may not be the case, but I don't think that that's going to be his mindset. Um, if you if you talk to him, um, and I'll 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 say this a billion times, you know, he he is the most um, humble kid that you're ever going to come across, especially in the situation that he's in. Mm -hmm. But he also knows that he's a good player. Um, right. And, and he doesn't he doesn't say he doesn't let you know that verbally he just shows you and, that, and that's one thing that I love about him yeah um, but like that play right there I, I've seen Jackson make that play many a times you know and, and, and yes it was at the high school level um, but that's a hard play to make you know especially with with guys that are are quick down the line you know running you know six seven six nine sixties yeah um, you know, he, he's making those plays, and I, and I think that that's one that's – it's really, really similar. So, there you have it. There's every play of Gavin Lux in his first month at shortstop with AAA Oklahoma City in 2019. Again, I want to 
Remind you, that was not a highlight reel. That was every play of his first month in 2019. Chase Witwiska was on the narration with me there. Chase actually coached Jackson Holiday, who was the number one pick, the number one draft pick in this last year's draft. He was a shortstop at Stillwater High School, the son of Matt Holiday. Matt just took the bench job with St. Louis, the all-star. So Chase is used to working with very high-level shortstop plays. So I found it interesting to get his thoughts on Gavin Lux. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I also hope that you visit DodgersDaily.net. That's DodgersDaily.net. And I also hope that you visit Dodgers Daily on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. And I also hope that you become a subscriber to the Dodgers Daily Podcast. Just go to your podcast streaming service of your choice and search Dodgers Daily. You get the Dodgers Dog Podcast. You get all these Dodgers Daily Podcasts and much, much more. So again, become a subscriber to the Dodgers Daily Podcast. Hey, as always, if you like this video and if you like this kind of content, go ahead and click that like button, leave a comment, tell all your friends about Dodgers Daily, and share this video so Dodgers Daily can keep growing and we can keep providing you more content like this in the future. As always, thanks for tuning in and go Dodgers!